through this video. We don't do Games Embassy anymore, so that intro doesn't really work. Uh, I'm Ambassador Chris. And I'm Ambassador Michael. Um, and we have stuff to discuss. Uh, specifically, um, to start things out, I know I haven't been in many videos, and by many I mean like none. Um, and that's because uh, I'm just starting graduate school. And even though I have done a few videos with Mike uh, here and there, uh, I will most likely be, even though I'm a founder, I'll be on the sidelines. Everybody's so, been busy, honestly. So, like, it's not just you. So I don't feel so bad. Uh, corona is making life crazy. Yeah, I mean, the good news is we were already operating over video chat anyway. So True. <laughs> we had an advantage over most people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second thing before we start is that you'll obviously see I'm jiggling a little bit. I have ADHD, so I jiggle my legs. I tend to play with my legs. I'm not whacking off. My hands are right here. <laughs> Same. But uh, you can see the lower part of my body is, is moving just because I'm moving my knees. That's all. I don't think I have ADHD, knees. but I feel like I have mass anxiety, and that's why I'm constantly fidgeting. <laughs> yeah. So. So. Um, so this topic of this video, as you can see from the title is we are discussing EA, more so the practices that EA does and the responses that happen to these things. Right. So to start out, just a disclaimer, I do not agree with anything that EA, as the latest example, but other big companies like Activision do that are really scummy practices, like changing things after the game is reviewed, uh, you know, trying to make people pay for very basic things that were previously in the game but then got removed on a new title just so that they can make a buck off it. I don't like any of those things. And none of those things are right. Yeah, but that's not the main premise. right? That is not the main premise of this video. Can it, you hear that rain by chance? Barely. Like, okay. I only noticed it when you said something. Okay, because it is thunderstorming. It happens. I stream all the time while it thunderstorms, and no nobody can really even hear it, so. Okay. So, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because everyone online, EA's been in the news a lot this week, uh, as you know. Uh, back a little farther, because the Madden game is super glitchy, as it's always been. <laughs> as these games always are because right. when they release Madden or FIFA, they're basically copy paste from the previous year. And not basically, they really are. Yeah, they basically, they, like, not they, even, they really are. Like, did you see the yeah. video that came out of the like training area? Like you remember how last year, how it was like 2019, 2020. Oh yeah, you, like you it, can see those all over the place. You can see yeah. where there's like a logo that says Madden 20 and then another logo where it says Madden 2019. That same video surfaced again this year. In different places it'll say Madden 21, Madden 20, Madden 19. Like yeah, in the same yeah, like this is, um <laughs> so bad. So one of my first big things that I want to say is that they keep doing this because they get away with it. People keep buying it. People keep buying it. It's, uh, I totally agree when people are upset and they go online and they post these things about how upset they are and that they shouldn't be doing this and this should have been fixed. These bugs have been in every single version of the game. And EA will, might come out and go like, oh yeah, sorry, I guess we'll work on it. Or what, what was that, um, what was that score where someone said it, 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 it was at a three and they're like, well, at least it's oh, not yeah. a two or it was at a two yeah. and they're like, at least it's not a one. Yeah, like, whatever. Same difference. That, like, that is not a good developer mentality. Yeah. I've stated if this CD before. If Project Red said something like that, there are a bunch of people that would drop dead. Yeah. Well, they're in hot water today too. I don't know if you've seen really? that yet today. Yeah, apparently. Oh. So they said no microtransactions in uh cyberpunk and then now apparently they are saying there's microtransactions in cyberpunk so people are kind of mad at them they were so gr they're so they're usually so great to their community though like they are known for that yeah i don't know it seems like a, I don't know it seems like i don't think they matter but that's not what we're we're talking about but yeah ea's yeah, um uh... its own freaking thing and like i know we typically like i'm gonna just hyperbole a little bit but like you know how like the activision stories come out and like it's like oh like the la interns can't afford rent type shit you know what i mean mm -hmm. um that doesn't happen at the madden studio which i live like three seconds from i can literally see the madden studio outside of my window 
I think I've told you this before since I moved. Oh, wow. Yeah, I live right next to it. <laughs> so, and everybody there, yeah, I do. And everybody there drives pretty standardly nice cars, you know, Hondas or like Ford, something like that. And occasionally you'll see like, Newer a, cars, yeah, like no, nothing beater. No, no beater cars. Like in Orlando is not cheap. It's not California expensive, but it's not cheap. Um, so to like live in the area is relatively expensive. So I assume they're making decent money and they're not being like totally shit on like, you know, Activision staff is, but nonetheless, um, it's probably because, you know, they make like $3 billion or whatever every year, <laughs> whatever yeah, it is, yeah. an insane amount so, of money. So moving into my very first topic, one of the reasons EA does not care is because this is an annual release. Yeah. This is an annual release. They launch this game every year. They It's $60 or, or more, depending on, I'm sure, what package you get yep. every year. And it's monopolized. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. And it's monopolized. My, my lights flickered so. a little bit. Oh yeah. And Madden, yeah, Madden's a foot. If if you're passionate about football games, um, like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna digress too much. But there are gamers, and then there are people that like to play a specific game. Right. There are people that only play one or two games. Right. And, you know, versus like Mike, you are a genuine gamer. You play a lot of games. Yeah, I play a lot. And of I play stuff. a lot of games. I play a lot of different Nintendo games. I play a decent amount of Xbox and PlayStation games with you know one or two favorites that i play pretty frequently um but there are people who only buy call of duty there are people who only buy battlefield there are people that only buy ncaa like only buy those games and play those games for a year until the next one comes out right and this system preys on that there you know as as much as you guys come as much as people complain oh this is terrible i can't believe this is happening well, you should believe it's happening because it always happens. Right. And for people, like you said, they, if they if they are passionate about the football games, they're the only ones making the football games. So. Right. And uh, I think we discussed this a bit prior, but um, specifically we're talking about FIFA, I think. Um, and EA does not have an exclusive license on FIFA, nor do they have it on the NBA games because... Their NBA games were shit. That's why they lost to 2K and just stopped making them. Uh, because they were doing the same thing they were doing to Madden, except 2K was actually innovating and EA wasn't. I mean, 2K is not much better as we've now, seen with the yes. whole... Now, yes. 100%. Uh, every, everyone wants to do their own ultimate team. To yeah, their well, they're pretty bad. Money. Also, they were yeah. like, hey, Kobe died. We gotta make some money on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a good real scum so, real scummy move. Um, but yeah, my point is is that this is a this is an exclusively Madden problem because there there's no competition. Period. Yeah, that's an exclusively Madden problem. But going back to annual releases, people buy them. They spend the sixty dollars every year. Mm -hmm. Every year, they get that huge chunk of income. Even if you swear it off, you know, you go like, "Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm not playing this game." Guess what? They got your sixty bucks. Yep. <laughs> They got your sixty dollars, so you can, at that point, swearing off the game. The only thing it'll do, yes, I mean you'll you'll keep from giving them more revenue, but then at that point, you basically handed them sixty dollars for nothing because you swore off the game. Yeah. So, there's that. Um, and the only ones they tend to really really care about are games that are either an experiment or games that are supposed to last a long time, which sometimes are an experiment yeah. when i say the experiment i say battlefront 2 battlefront yeah. 2 i assume if battlefront 2 uh if it's if the mono they, they have this ideology this is really old news they have the ideology oh if people like fifa ultimate team they'll love they'll love that that same thing in star wars let's just do that for star wars right people will love it well obviously that didn't happen and so right. battlefront 2 got a whole lot of heat um, and to try and save that license, and I'm sure I'm sure Disney wasn't happy with it either. No, Disney was not particularly pleased. From what I recall, yeah. they actually called EA and they were like, "Yo, what's happening with this PR nightmare? Why are we getting, like, why are we getting emails and phone calls? What is happening? Yeah. What are you doing?" So, so Battlefront Two is an experiment. I'm sure that if it would have been the cash cow that they were hoping it to be, like FIFA, like FIFA Ultimate Team and 
in the FIFA games, I'm sure Battlefront 3 would have come out the following year. Or pretty close to it, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, or or pretty close to it. Would it become an annual release? Rinse, repeat, goes with the annual releases. And then there are games that are supposed to last a long time, like Anthem, which is live service, and of course, you know, they scramble to do damage control on yeah. the PR for that, like striking people down for B-roll footage when they didn't like their review. That was a thing. Yeah, they do that. A lot of companies do that. But That's... I hate to say it because it hurts my soul a little bit, but to be fair to EA, that was mostly on Bioware's. Like, Bioware mostly fucked that up. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, and EA just did tried to do what they could to salvage it, but it was pretty bad. Honestly, they should have just canceled Anthem and never let it come out. Yeah, the, the examples I'm using are with EA Publishing because they're like some of the most recent things that come into my head. Yeah. But uh, other big game studios like Activision are also guilty of many of these practices. Did you hear about and... Pez? Just real quick. Because it's Konami about and Konami what? sucks. Did you hear about what they're doing with Pez? The Pro, Pro Evolution Soccer. The competitor to FIFA that Konami makes. No. It's the only game Konami makes. Short version is, is that this year, instead of releasing the cross-gen type bundle deal... Uh, what they did is they're like, look, we're just going to update the roster 40 bucks. And they called it a day. And I was like, look, even fucking Konami knows. Like, not to fuck around, you know? Like, even That's they can still figure a lot it of out. Money. 40 I'm bucks. Is, the game I think. Was six, I assume I, the game was 60 bucks. Yeah, I think it's 40, but I, I could be wrong. It could be 30. Uh, let me look it up, but go ahead. I mean, it's, it's better. I mean, I, I guess I'm not going to. It's it's a step in the right direction. I don't want to ignore right. that it's a step in the right direction, but um, so we have those, and then and Activision did the same. It did something similar. They did something really crappy when the uh, Transformers: Rise of the Dark Spark, because High Moon Studios didn't use it. They basically just took a whole bunch of assets from old games. Um, but that's a that's a different yeah. can of worms. It's thirty. Um, I'm sorry, not forty. That's fine. Um, so so next up are uh non-professional critics so people that don't work in games journalism right or people who I don't like some approach I feel that like line they, even they romanticize like i feel they they fancy themselves like leading this charge against these corrupt game studios you yeah know saying, there's some like, people out there like this, that we can't let this happen this is outrageous and <laughs> You know, they make it seem like uh, th th this has to stop. This has to stop. It's not stopping because you keep buying those games. Right. And we have like the stupid pack opening channels and stuff like that. Yeah. Like EA, e like it, EA is going to keep making money. They don't have a lot of these big, big companies that make a crap ton of money. Right. They don't have morals. You, you can argue any <laughs> huge company that makes a crap ton of right. money. Uh, at some point, you get to a point where there's no morals. Right. It's freaking. It's just how business works. Like unless you put a stipulation in, it's like ch child labor. Like they use child labor because it was cheaper. Like like I making iPhones. Yeah. Like you could just use children and pay them like five cents yeah. an hour. Like you know, because yeah. children don't you know to fight for a living wage or anything like that. Like <laughs> it's it's the same thing with sweatshops. Look yeah. at Amazon. Amazon's been putting out so many commercials right now trying to make their image super well because their image is horrible. They make yeah. a they make a crap ton of money, but it is known that the working conditions in their fulfillment centers are terrible. Right. They're really bad. Absolutely terrible. And they, they purposely build they you know, like they, they build their warehouses in small towns mm -hmm. or places where there's not a lot of job opportunity to make sure that they have uh, a large supply of workers so that they don't have to worry about those conditions right and basically but i, I like, don't want to get into, I'm, the point yeah. i'm trying to make is these, <laughs> these huge companies that make a crap ton of money like ea do not care no they do not care no matter how much you 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 the the critics uh fight and cry and talk about how sooner or later this is going to catch up to them do you remember that event um, what, I can't remember what it was called, but it was uh, it was one of the first big events in Apex Legends. Oh yeah, where they like totally screwed the pooch on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it was, it was like an heirloom thing Apex or something. Apex Legends. It was basically all cosmetic. Right. It was all cosmetic. The one thing that people wanted 
you had to have all other cosmetics in order to be able to unlock it in order to enable to buy it yeah yeah, yeah to buy it yeah. in order to be able to buy it and you could only earn two out of the i think it was 10 or 12 items in game you had to buy the other ones yeah so someone did the math you had to spend like i think it was 180 dollars in total to get one piece of cosmetic if, if, if you wanted the, if, the, if it if the thing you wanted was that skin right that was the huge main attraction of the event you had to spend i think it was 180 i think it was like 150 but it was a lot more than it should have been people were mad people yeah. were in the forums and it even got to the point where people from respawn entertainment were literally talking crap to people yeah i recall. Do you remember that i recall yeah so I'm sure Apex Legends got, you know, I'm sure that they their their game failed because everyone was was hating it and boycotted it, right? No. <laughs> no. No. It's still here. People it's are still playing successful. the game because yeah. it's it's literally this. You can you you'll you'll cry and complain, but then there's tons of people who don't and I, I'm not and buy I'm stuff. not saying this I'm not trying to make it I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm high and mighty. I am a destiny player. Right. I am aware of of we're all guilty of it we all do these things destiny sure. 2 and destiny 1 are the games that we all love to complain about we we cry we we True. cry and complain about how bad an expansion is then we log on and play and we bought it anyways <laughs> and we bought it yeah. anyways so <laughs> yeah so there it is I, I, it, i'm not trying to make it sound like i'm somehow above we're not blameless all gamers are guilty of this more so or less that was my that was my section on critics and then one of my, my last big section is we're talking about review bombs and user generated score. Yep. Mike, are you aware of the fir- uh the supposedly the worst game ever made? There's a lot of worst games ever made, but no. I, if you're talking about purely on a review score basis, no. Other it's than easy. Madden's Oh yeah, E. T. is bad. There's that weird fish e. game e. with uh Leonard no- Nimoy as well. That, I, that comes um, to mind. E.T. is considered to be um, the worst game ever. It's pretty terrible. So, let's talk about this user-generated score. <laughs> so right now, something that the critics are pointing out is like, yeah, we got the user review score on Medicare. Madden to be yeah. uh, 0. 0.2. Yep. That's pretty low. That's great. They're like, this is the lowest this number has ever been. Okay. You know what is above that, directly above that? No idea. The expansion for Division Warlords of New York. Oof. Yeah. That one's pretty bad, though. And guess what will happen? In, a f- in, in probably a few months, or maybe, I mean, game releases have been kind of scarce in 2020, but maybe in 2021, 2022... When it, another game that comes out that people are upset with, guess what? Boom, that user-generated score is probably going to go even lower than 0.02. Mm-hmm. It's user-generated score. No one cares. It's only that 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 became... All that became was just a ploy to make games look bad. Pretty much. That's the only thing user-generated score did. And then, go, going just in general to, to specific review bombs review bombs a lot of sites funnel it out for one when the epic game store was still we've talked about this so many times as as console gamers we're used to exclusives if you want to play a game you got to buy the console that that plays that game yep so that was that way for gears of war it was that i'm talking about like earlier games it was that way for gears of war for xbox that way for god of war for playstation it's that way for spider-man for playstation it's that way for horizon zero dawn for playstation playstation has some really good exclusives right now yep for pc all you have to do is download another launcher and i know people don't like that and they get all in an uproar about it but epic game store has the right to do it they do yeah but uh going on from there people were review bombing borderlands one and two on steam because of the fact that three was... borderlands 3 signed a, a year-long yeah. exclusivity deal with the epic game store on pc and steam filtered them out <laughs> steam was just like uh hide <laughs> yeah steam yeah the person who is it who is obviously would probably be against the epic game store yeah 
filtered it out saying okay review bombs aren't right like borderlands 1 and borderlands 2 are good games they're known to be good games they're great yeah. games so your review bombs all they do are m make you feel better they just yeah. make these these players feel better and i've it sounds like i'm I, i'm getting frustrated and it sounds like i'm like the bad guy and i'm against gamers it's not that because i am a gamer it's just if you want to hit these companies where it actually hurts and see them actually like take a hit have to regroup think you you have to hit them where it hurts and that means not buying the games yeah just don't buy the game it's it sucks don't get me wrong like i'd be pissed still like you know i'm trying to think because like there's a there's a handful of games where i've refused to buy them because of whatever the publisher or whatever like modern warfare looked good enough but i was like mm, fuck activision i'm not giving them my money like it's yep. you know you just gotta do what you gotta do but like you know i i get I didn't why buy avengers yeah exactly i bought avengers on the basis of like i was skeptical um i feel like my purchase ended up being worthwhile personally but um you know it could have gone the other way and i could have played it and been like well this is shit wish i didn't spend money on this like but if if i don't know like fallout 76 i wasn't gonna buy that because i knew that was not gonna be for me first of all and second of all it didn't look good like yeah you gotta have some restraint i i know that's like not really what people want to hear because what they want is it's to be not, able to just go buy stuff. next year's madden and it be good yeah it's it's people people want it and i want it too i was really upset when anthem i was so confident in anthem oh did you hear that thunder Ooh, I, that was big thunder. i heard something it sounded like a knock though it's big thunder oh okay um, fair enough i wanted anthem to be really good and my reality was well after mass effect andromeda there's no way they would release a trash heap mm -hmm. because of how bad their last major title was right and then they just did so i bought it i pre-ordered it i pre-ordered the hundred dollar edition just to get some freaking pins oh boy pins that i have sitting up there <laughs> that's it like you we need to have restraint and we see these reviews i don't trust really reviews anymore oh, i tend I to ask other people how they feel about games because so many of these i it's the same thing with the way live service games age. People review them, and of course they have plenty of content maybe in the first two weeks to play, and so they give they give it like you know a really good score because people are in such a rush to get these reviews out so that they can get the views on them before, when the games come out. Right. But that doesn't show how games, like a live service game, ages. And the whole thing with the... I know I haven't really touched on this much. The UFC adding those Amazon ads for the boys in game is another example of this. Yeah, didn't they, they did that last year too. Uh, I don't know if they did it last year, but I know they added it to last year's model. Yeah. Oh god. Let me see. They added those commercials, or I wouldn't call them commercials. So they're like they're, ads, they're or ads something. and they're they're in the middle of the kind of some of the you know fighting I, I don't want to say cut scenes um but like when they're showing like players it, it looks like you're watching a ufc fight and sure. an ad comes up where they're like taking a break we just want to thank our sponsor the boys you know what i mean it looks yeah because like it looks like it looks like you're watching ufc on tv right so and they they put them in two weeks after the game launched why do you think they put them in two weeks after the game launched why wouldn't they just put them in at launch because reviews and first because week sales reviews. as we know first week sales are always the uh first of all they're the biggest and second of all they're the numbers that like impress people so like when they're partners or whatever like ufc or at the nfl are like oh how are you properly you know how are you making us easy money where we don't do anything and they're like see look we sold a bunch of games <laughs> like so I mean, really, if you could hurt them real bad if you just 
like didn't buy like even if a big enough section of players were just like all right i'm not gonna buy this for a month like even if you're all right so if you're the, still the person who's like i gotta have it you know what i mean like just give it a month just one month and if a big enough group of you do it like it'll hurt ea sales numbers like madden 21 sold better than madden 20 which sold better than madden 19 which sold better than madden 18 and so on and so forth like every year they like the sell more of the call of duty sales yeah like Call of Duty sales dip and then they go back up because they they dip when they well, start getting shit is, and then when they get a good Modern one. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare Three was like the peak of their sales, and then they started selling less and less and less of new releases. Now, given the games were still selling really good by traditional standards, yeah. But when you're multi-billion-dollar game publisher and they and you see like that you're making less money than you did the previous years, you don't they don't like that right doesn't doesn't look good like so total sales for uh i don't know when was this published october 2019 so this is pre modern warfare it looks like the highest sold game that they've sold is black ops and then modern warfare 3 like the closest they've come in recent years was black ops 3 is like their fifth best selling game I thought Modern Warfare sold really well. Uh, the original Modern Warfare sold 19 million copies. No, no, the the, the redo uh, just came out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The the chart I have in front of me doesn't have Modern Warfare, but it did sell well. Yeah, that one people were really happy with it. Uh, yeah, I didn't play it. Not that I'm against it. I think I played Warzone once, once or twice. Yeah, I tried Warzone. And I was like, me. Okay, it's Call of Duty. <laughs> So. But yeah, it, I don't know. It it goes back to the same argument we've really been having about it for years, which is just like they they're not gonna do shit until they stop making money. Like why would they? Like they can just keep doing what they're doing, and they can just keep making money. So why bother? Which changing? is fine. I I don't have anything against Call of Duty. I'm not trying to sound like one of those super edgy people. Like I don't play Call of Duty just just to be contrarian. No, but know? I mean in terms of innovation, like actually taking the time to innovate on the game you know what i mean like more or less we've seen they don't have to if they sell they don't have to (laughs) right they literally just don't they just like okay we upgraded the engine every couple of years and here's some new textures and like here's the same like 17 guns yep so so um i just i wanted to talk about this and make a video on this this video was my choice i called mike earlier today and said hey i want to do a video on this because uh you can look at the same situation that's happened over multiple years where a game comes out and all people do is all people do is uh talk about it and they try and review bomb it or they user generated score it like they, where they where it gets it gets really bombed like that doesn't do anything <laughs> especially not to the annual releases it right. does like nothing to the annual releases they do not care they are already working as soon as that game comes out they're already working on 2022 yeah or 20 they're already working on madden 2022 like they do not care yep about the annual releases so if you really want these companies to get hit for bad things that they're doing excuse me i had a hiccup if you really want these companies to get hit for the crappy practices that they have, you have to. The only language they speak is money. Mm-hmm. So, don't buy their game, yeah. or wait and see. Um, I mean, uh, a lot of people don't trust big news, big news conglom- uh, journalistic game conglomerates because they worry that they're biased. I've seen from multiple sources from people who have worked in journalism that that is not the case. There, yeah. there's only been it's 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 much more of a rarity, and people very quickly get caught when they are biased or lie about a game. Right. So, just uh, I I would say, you know, read about the game yourself. Read about it from reliable sources. Don't buy the game immediately unless it's like a franchise you trust right or the franchise you just want to support like for example i was i if halo infinite came out uh right now i'd probably still buy it 
Right. Because I I like Halo and the collector in me would just buy it. Doesn't make it right, but like Fair I enough. said, I'm not trying to sound like I I'm not trying to sound like I am different from any of these other people because I've done it too. Mike, you've done it. I've done it. We're gonna do it again, probably. I'm yeah. Just what was trying to make? A I guess Avengers is the game. Like I, I should probably shouldn't have bought, but like. I don't know. I don't feel about it the same way I do typically. I can't remember the last time I bought a game and I was like, wow, uh, I deeply regret this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I can't even think of a lot because I'm just, I try to stay really informed, but um, yeah. I think the most money I've, I think one of the biggest wastes of money I got was um, the hundred dollar version of infinite warfare that came with the remaster of the original modern warfare yeah that was a hundred dollars and then anthem the version i got was a hundred dollars i think so both of those were big waste of money i think the last game i bought that i genuinely was like hurt by was agony the game was awful the game was so awful i returned it to amazon at a loss like i only got like i paid like 40 bucks for it and they only gave me like 23 back and I was like, worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> like, so... You know, it game won't be a loss. Hmm. 3D uh, Mario 3D All-Stars. Oh, no. The scalpers are already out here. Yeah, they're already buying up all the copies they can. Oh, that's the, that's the one. That's the one you gotta hang me for. Because I bought two copies. Specifically because I knew that was gonna happen. So, what do you mean? It's Mario. Yes, but their limited the limited it's the time release is the point the like the the limited release policy is pretty dog shit so but i bought yeah, we, two that, copies that, that's to... a different that's a different conversation but i do agree that and that made no sense to me the limited yeah. launch window that confused the hell out of me i was like why the po- why would you yeah. do that why would you not want people to have access to buying these games i'm sure there's some i'm sure their marketing department has some sort of you know while they're snorting cocaine off each other i'm (laughs) sure they have some sort of reason for it whenever i whenever we talk about games and stuff like this i think that dave Chappelle skit with the uh it's like a knockoff office max and he's like because fuck them that's why like (laughs) yeah (laughs) and i'm like that's basically it like "Ah, fuck them like who cares (laughs) so anyway uh I think we've beaten this horse pretty well to death. Yep. So I've been Ambassador Chris. I'm Ambassador Michael. And I'll see you another time. Bye-bye. Bye.